Well, hello, brothers and sisters of the leaf. Today, I have Camacho Series Bourbon Barrel Finish. Hmm. See what this thing uh, tastes like. And, uh, of course, don't ask me, forgot my cutter there at my place and I'm over here so just figured when you pay again I'm going to just order one for here that way I don't have to worry about it so yeah I'll always figure out a way kind of a tight roll of course, I've had it in my humidor for, well, hell, probably close to a year and a half or two. Yeah, I'm just looking around hoping maybe I had a lighter around here that had the uh, punch on it, which, of course, I don't even have that. What a dumbass I am today. Hmm. Got a little tool here. Don't know really how well it'll be, but I'm sure going to try it. And uh, out around here, it sure is humid. This is a Gordo size, which I usually gravitate towards a 6x60, six and I have uh, my coffee since, you know, bourbon, and bourbon uh, cigars, so I figured probably go kind of nice with a nice coffee. With it not being cut right, it kind of doesn't want to cooperate. Mm. There we go. Nice, uh, kind of woodiness uh, to it not not too stout I mean, a lot of people think with the darker wrappers they're way stout but actually 80 percent of the time it's uh the opposite a little bit milder and on the sweet side <clears throat>
I'd say um, medium to full bodied. Um, kind of like a milder side. Pretty good. guys pretty good with that coffee not going to say it'll be uh, it's the best uh, I just looking at something over there I'm gonna say it's absolute best but not bad um maybe something a little sweeter would have been uh, better to pair with this in my opinion but we'll see how it is here after it goes a little further real tight wrap maybe it'll Open up. Uh, sitting here sweating, doing nothing with this humidity. See, um, I'm gonna get a little long with the hair. Uh, I need another haircut. It's starting to get warm out. Very warm. Mm. It'll be something I can sit down a good while with uh, smoking some meat on my smoker. Yeah, that'd be good. I'm starting to get hints of a whiskey barrel that they aged these in. Hmm. Ooh. Yes, most definitely. Um, I could see uh, buying a box of these. Really good. These are, in my opinion, with my taste, uh, box worthy. Smoke's got, starting to get a little more smoke to it. Eric, you'd be proud. I have a friend, uh, he likes cigars that produce a lot of smoke. The more smoke, the more he likes it. I refer to him as a show off. But, you know, what are friends for, right? Still love each other, man.
guy, Eric, uh, he's one of my taller friends. I'm four, five, five, maybe five, seven, you know, kind of short. Got these shoes that I have a four inch lip. Wife thought it was the funniest thing when we was standing side by side and she's looking out the window one day. How much she towers over me. Like, there's so much of a difference. And, uh, you know, whenever we go inside and take my shoes off, it's like, it's like if I'm looking at the ceiling almost. <laughs> yeah, he used to work with him, but. Things happen and he's uh, at a different place of work. Kind of convenient for him. <laughs> like he's in the same place as a cigar shop that we visit quite often. He's been on call so we haven't really been able to get together. We're going to have to sometime soon. Oh my, it really opened up. That's... Okay. Maybe that might be right on this. It might be just a little too loose. It needs to have a little bit of a tighter draw. <sighs> I'm going on 13 minutes and that's all the further it's went. Mm, that woodiness hits flavor wise then with that little bit of whiskiness that's great <clears throat> really good I know uh, if you like uh, my content, my reviews on uh, these cigars, um, give me a like and a subscription. Not exactly sure which side it'll be on, but give me a like and subscribe. Help me out so you'll be notified of uh, more videos whenever they come available, which for the most part I've been trying to be more constant and Having one up by Friday. My last one wasn't exactly Friday, but you know, one of my dear friends, which had passed, um, just figured I'd do a special for him. Miss that old guy at work. Even though he's old enough to retire, he kept on working a few more years and. His grandson uh, watches my videos, and we're going to get together sometime here soon. We're going to bring the cigars, either beer or maybe a little bit of whiskey or something, or whatever we want to decide to drink and just sit back. 
either I'll go down towards his place or maybe bring him up. Since I do not believe he uh, drives quite yet, or has his license, yeah, same thing. But yeah, and uh, he has a few cigars from his, it'd be his grandpa um, that, you know, actually came from me that I give his grandpa a, a few of. I know one was a Gherkin Black Ops, uh, kind of looked like a shell casing with the wrapper on it. Uh, not really sure of the others. I can see them. It's been so long since I've had them, you know. Um, hmm. Uh, so relaxing. Wish they'd let me have a one of my size smoke breaks at work. I'd even bring one of my short ones. You know, we only get thirty minutes, and really take always take my time and relax for the most part on these. And uh, I think the shortest one that I can remember is about forty-five an hour. That we uh, this is uh, developing to like a like an oak, not real earthy yet. Now um, we'll make this a uh, shorter one since it's kind of evening. Um, I can go in and do a few things and throw my computer here in the Jeep and keep it there to try to get my retirement stuff unlocked since I couldn't really do it from the phone. Although I thought I could have did it sooner but you know, just want it so I can view all my stuff. Smooth, not smooth as if it was an aged tobacco, plus, you know, being aged in barrels. Although they're only aged an additional five months in those barrels. This is the American barrel aged. They do have a Nicaraguan, which um, <clears throat> I haven't. seen yet but uh after this one i do believe i'm gonna look for it it's got a nice bold flavor though the flavor there's no ignoring it it's there it's but it's not like it's gonna kick your ass down strong oh it's just the flavor it's impeccable. There's something in it, um, almost like a grassy. It's not hay. It's not a hay layer, but
you like my content, um, have a friend, uh, Chris Lentz, he's, um, from, uh, St. Albans there, uh, he has a, uh, YouTube too, Coffee Smokes, I'm gonna try to maybe figure out how to put the link in the description, um, but if you want to just, uh, type in Coffee Smokes, and you'll find it, it's kind of just a short thing, him and different coffees, but I think he just does a, pretty much the foot of it and all, but he still describes pretty good on what it is in older guy. So uh, go give him a try too, if you like this, check him out. Like a mellow tobacco y flavor. I know you're, some of you are probably thinking, well, of course it's tobacco y. It, no, I don't mean that kind of tobacco. I mean, like, kind of like uh, tobacco when you smell it, what you'd think it tastes like. Um, um, has a, a little sweetness to it, but just enough to notice it like yeah I almost didn't notice it it's light um it goes well with that woodiness which is kind of Mellowing out, and then you know, you just now. My buddy Billy is going to have something to say because mentioned that I gravitate toward the bigger sticks and it's kind of darker so Billy this is for you just because I know you're going to say something and I guarantee now you all are probably in with him too but there's probably some of you if you're a cigar smoker probably gravitate toward them too Since I don't really have my cutter and I just have this tool to make some holes every so often. They're closing up. So I have to redo them. It's causing the burn to burn a little different, but he like said next payday I'm just gonna order my Fabrella. V cut for here so I don't forget because usually I have it in the Jeep, have it in my pocket, dump my locker at work. But what can you do? There we go. I wasn't wanting to burn on the top because. Uh, Kinda of starting to get plugged and <sighs> mm. I seen something on Facebook the other day. A guy says, you know, better cigar and just wipe it down with C B D oil. I'm not all into that. I think a cigar should be enjoyed as a cigar. Brush, in my opinion, is 
you know, pretty much making it into, in lack of better words, a joint. And of course, some dumbass didn't make sure his laptop, as nice as it is, was charged. So, that may be another reason I'm going to cut this short. It's starting to kind of give me hints of like a cocoa-iness right there. Real light, but just a little bit more But yeah, it's a real this is a real nice stick um, If you've tried this and think I'm wrong Well, your palate's different than mine or there's flavors that you know you picked up on that you might say, hey, try it again. This is what I did. But like I say, I do unbiased. Most of these I don't smoke before. I don't read up on. I wait until afterwards and I'll read up on and see what the professionals say, which, uh, you know, they've been smoking and rating for a long time. So they probably know what they're doing. Kind of can distinguish other flavors I don't say I'm a professional but the more I smoke uh, the more flavors I can distinguish and certain ones that I'll smoke over later on I'll say hey that's new I didn't really get that ever before But that cocoa with a nice bourbon there makes it really nice. Um, I'm sitting at nine percent, and so I don't cut you off. And uh, y'all, hey, that guy's an asshole. Even though I told you, you know. But I'm just gonna cut this short. This is definitely a box worthy, in my opinion. I said, if at all you want to tell me, hey, I didn't get that, or this is what I got, or just feel free to message me on here. Um, I ain't been doing this long, but I was happy as hell the other day. Uh, one of my friends posted on her line and shared all her friends about me, and I got a few more subscribes. And I actually got a message telling me that, you know, it was a good video. I can't think of his name, um, but thank you. Stay smoky, my friends. Until next time, I'm going to cut this off before I go dead and... Enjoy the rest of this.